everybody. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the live chat. Thank you. Very happy to be here. Yes, we are very happy to have you with us. So today we'll be doing a live chat where uh, our viewers can, you know, ask any question related to beauty. And I'll be reading the questions and you can uh, start answering. So, you know, before we begin with the question answer session, so how's lo lockdown going for you? You know, I don't think I've ever been busier. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to do at home. Till morning, till night, I am on my toes the whole day long. And uh, I actually collapse into bed. The days that I, uh, the lockdown wasn't there, I wasn't this tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a lot. I'm really, I, I'm keeping myself occupied to say the least. Yeah, I mean, I think all of us are quite busy these days. I mean, there's so much to do at home and... Uh, you know, we can, and you know, it's one of the best time to take care of our skin and hair. We can do a lot of things, you know, uh, sure. related to our skin and hair. So one of the first questions we've got right now is that, you know, how to take care of dry skin uh, using easily available kitchen ingredients? Like what are the ingredients we can use at home? Okay, so when you have dry skin, you need to exfoliate because, you know, otherwise it'll start uh, flaking and, and bothering your skin. And you need to exfoliate with something that is moisturizing as well, you know? So uh, powdered sugar, salt. These are things that you can get in your own kitchen. Um, rock salt, powder it nice and fine. Well, not like so powdery that you can't feel it on your skin. And sugar, powder the two. Cut your, uh, your um, tomato in half and dip it in your, you know, not everybody has aloe plants. If you have aloe, it'll be great to take an aloe slice. Otherwise, tomato and exfoliate on your skin nice and proper. Every time you exfoliate, you really need to uh, do a pack as well. Don't just exfoliate and cleanse your skin out and forget it, you know. And after you do that, maybe a vitamin E because it's so dry, your skin. A vitamin E capsule, uh, squeeze it out and gently with, with all that sugar and salt on your face, go with your fingers in circular motion round and round and round. Keep it on for 10-15 minutes and rinse it out or use a face wash, uh, you know, a face cloth and mop it off and then definitely use a face pack. Okay. So uh, what kind of face pack should we use after that? Any regular like or anything specific? Yeah, I mean, uh, for all non-vegetarians, I would say reach <laughs> out for your eggs and crack it open, take your yellow off and just the white, beat it nice and proper and with a brush, just brush it onto your face. And when it dries, it's tightening. It, your skin gets really tight. Now, a lot of no vegetarians don't want to touch eggs. Please don't. Um, you know, you need something to bind your uh, your packs together. You know, some like Multani Mitti yeah. or a clay pack or Chandan powder and all that. And nowadays, you need vitamin C in your system. So everybody is drinking lime juices and orange juices. So take those peels cut it into slivers and put it out, uh, you know, uh, air dry it, shade dry it, put it out in the shade, dry it, powder it, use it, uh, your neem leaves, powder it, <laughs> use it, your, uh, you know. There's a lot of things we can do with that. Yeah. A lot of things that you can just pluck in. I mean, just don't pluck random plants, but, uh, but neem, tulsi, your curry leaves, all these, sh shade dry it, powder it, mix it all together, then add your binding powders as well either a Multani Mitti or, uh, you know, a Chandan or something. Mix it with rose water. If you don't have rose water, just add distilled water. Or to forget the distilled water, it's impossible to get that. Your, um, you know, your mineral water. Add it in, mix it and put it on your face. Let it dry and then wash it off. Okay. Uh, so one other question that we've got, I mean, a lot of women ask this question all the time. How do you get that glow on your face? Any face pack or mask she's asking? Yeah, of course, your face masks and uh, your packs will tighten your, your pores, your open pores. People have a lot of problems with open pores. And if you have open pores, use a scrub first and then a pack. And that glow will eventually happen. Uh, because your blood, when, you, when you're scrubbing your face, you know, your blood rushes to your face and, and uh, your cheeks start shining and glowing and everything else. And uh, when you look after your skin, you know, from A to Z, you follow your uh, CTM in the morning and night. You, CTM is cleanse, tone and moisturize. There are just basic rules that you follow and you get really healthy, beautiful skin. Yeah? 
no i think everyone should follow a good skin care and uh, yeah. we've got one question related to hair now someone's asking yeah. how to treat lots of white hair in the age of 24 i mean you know early 20s something people can do for that um you know the thing is now it's not like okay because i'm old i'm getting a uh, gray hair uh age is catching up no it's strange because it's probably the pollution the the lifestyles that we lead the food intake that we have even little kids are getting gray hair which is really sad and disturbing and um definitely no color for you till you get to a certain age and even then if you can lay off your chemicalized colors i would say hold off hold on that for the longest time you know i know uh, henna and uh, all that is it leaves a orangish reddish tinge which most people most people don't like but now there are henna and indigo mixes with amla and everything else mixed in it which can give a beautiful soft brown or a dark black or i mean a soft black and a dark brown and burgundy these are colors and these are all 100% natural products it's all over the market now these these products so Uh, go get yourself right now don't go anywhere but uh, when you do, when you can get yourself a little bit and just use it only on that gray whatever is graying that's all you need to use it now if you're a, a really small child just let her be yeah? and don't stress her out over it and she'll get stressed out the more stress the more gray yeah? yes stress does lead to uh, white hair and uh, we've got one other question for hair hair pack for shining and healthy hair okay uh, you know on my uh, on my social media handles the other one as well the facebook and and uh, everything else i have actually um, you know i have um, i have posted on this um, and i quickly tell you again how to use a great hair pack um, is to make your own packs at home okay aloe is something if you don't have it grow it at home because it, it it's just full of goodness so you scoop out the gel from the aloe leaf and add coconut milk you can get it in tetra packs so i just grate uh, grate your coconut and squeeze out the milk and two tablespoons of uh, coconut oil mix it together in a blender okay blend it in your in your mixer and take little sections and emulsify when i say emulsify i'm saying massage it into your hair and and the whole head gets full of it and put on a shower cap or put take a little uh, you know a scarf and tie it around leave it on for like half an hour 45 minutes and then rinse it off you don't need to shampoo it off you just need to rinse it off yeah and these are great hair packs that you can do at home yeah i think we can use a lot of ingredients but i definitely feel that everyone should have an aloe plant at home that you know we can do a lot with it's aloe plant yeah it's great, great great for the skin as well you know yeah. you can just Yeah, rub it on your skin every single day, and it's fabulous for the skin as well. Okay, so we've got a question on PCOD: How to take care of oily, acne-prone skin because of PCOD, especially sudden breakouts. So, what can one do for oily and acne-prone skin, and also sudden breakouts? You know, the thing is, uh, it all goes hand in hand. When you've got very oily skin, you have a problem like PCOD, you will break out, and the pimples will turn into acne. And those, once it vanishes, if it does vanish, it leaves ter- terrible dark marks and spots on your face. So the the best thing to do is to try to minimize the oil factor on your face. You know, uh, never use a lime uh, direct onto your skin because it will just totally dry it out. So you can mix your lime juice. in with your scrubs when you when you are gently exfoliating your um you know um um your your face and yeah. uh, definitely use a pack now i have very very often spoken about um uh, how to use a tongue cleaner to polish your skin out you know so get your tongue cleaner another tongue cleaner not the one that you use for the your use. tongue yeah keep a new one just for this in the morning get up brush your teeth and without washing your face use your tongue cleaner and and use it on your don't get scared if you can use it on your tongue you can definitely use it on oh. your face as well so it goes on your nose on top of your nose you're exfoliating you're taking off surface blackheads and even if you have pimples you can gently go over it the rest of the area give a little bit of stress and take it all out and at the end of it all when you do that to your tongue cleaner you're going to see a lot of mark on your fingers so anyway and then you wash your face out nice and proper and uh, constantly you definitely use a pack you know when you use a pack your your pores close and it doesn't let dirt and dust and why your um, you know your oily skin 
gets so infected is because the pores open, the oil seeps out, the dirt and dust from the atmosphere goes and settles on the pores. And then that becomes either a blackhead or a pimple or an infected acne. And uh, the, the spots that happen, I've spoken to you many times about the vitamin C serum, try to get ascorbic acid from somewhere. And um, I've given numbers on my, my page and my, all my social media handles on where to get it from and uh, mix it in with sterile water and use it every day, morning and night. If you're using a serum, do not step out in the sun. But if you're not uh, getting out in the sun, use it day and night and you can see your skin completely clearing, you know. So you, uh, you do a face, uh, you know, polish with your tongue cleaner, cleanse it out vitamin C and you are good to handle all those marks and spots on your face. Okay. Tongue cleaner is definitely one of the easiest tools <laughs> we can have right now. Yeah. Oh. Any tips for, uh, you know, dark circles and, uh, you know, how people look tired and dull, what we can do about it? You know, uh, most people get these problems because either it's hereditary, if it's hereditary, you can just keep pointing your finger at your parents, yeah, <laughs> or wherever it's come from. But uh, most often people have unright dark circles because they're tired, their eyes are tired, they have a computer in front of the computer, they sit for hours, 8, 10, 14 hours, and that tires the eyes out. So you need to rest your eyes more. You know, there are so many ingredients that you can pick up from your own fridge in your kitchen. Uh, take a cucumber, grate it squeeze out the, the juice and put two iPads in your, I mean, I'm just talking about cotton pads yeah. in your little bowl of uh, cucumber juice, stick it in the fridge for a bit, take it out, take it and gently squeeze out the excess and put it on your eyes and rest your eyes. That is something you can do. You can use tomato juice. You can use carrot juice. You can use all these juices that you can make and um, just, just rest your eyes. Your eyes need maximum rest. And also this around this area is the most delicate skin. So you need to moisturize it. Now your skin is very oily. Use an under eye gel to moisturize. If it's very dry, definitely use a cream to moisturize. Yes, uh, definitely. So, you know, uh, as a lot of us are home right now and uh, we, a lot of us can't buy, you know, serums and creams and face wash. What are the few beauty products that, you know, we can actually make at home? Um, your green gram dal, yeah. You have green gram dal at home. Yes, I yeah, have. powder it and mix a little bit of um, haldi, amber haldi in it. And uh, use that as a, you know, a face wash. It cleanses out beautifully. There's, there's a flaxseed, which you can boil and... Uh, uh, you know, just use the, it, it's very thick, yeah? So you 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 can pour it into, uh, I mean, you have to strain it in a cloth, nicely strain it. It still comes out really thick, the gel. But that gel you can directly use onto your hair to kill all the knots. It takes off all the knots and keeps your hair shiny and beautiful. I know people have been asking me, everybody's been writing in and asking me so many questions about, oh my God, ma'am, I've got so many split ends. I don't know how to cut my own hair and this and that. So actually, I would love to, Navya, at some point, talk about how to cut your own hair. Yes. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yesterday I got two calls, uh, two messages from two men who said, ma'am, you're only talking about women cutting their hair. What about men? How do we cut our hair? So let's talk about that as well. Yeah. Yes, actually, that was my next question. Uh, you know, <laughs> women can still deal with long hair. I mean, that's still a possibility. But it's really tough for men. I mean, how do they deal with it? Like men who can't just, you know, have long hair, they find it irritating and all. So let's just talk about a simple yeah. trimming for men and women. Yeah. So most men have a trimmer at home. Yes, that's it's called the zero machine or a beard trimmer. And they trim their beards, but use it for your hair. You know, it's a zero machine. You don't use it on zero, number zero, because then it will go, you'll get bald, yeah? So start with the number four first and start from your ears first. Okay, let me explain. Take your natural parting and on the same other side, take that parting, leave that hair away. Yeah? And the rest of it, you start from your, from here. Go up with your, leave it on a number four to start with. 
and go up in a C, all right? So you start from here and go up. So it trims, 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 and this is the longest, and that is the shortest. That way, and use a handheld mirror at the back so you can see, and look at a mirror. Please, men, don't tell me you don't have mirrors at home. <laughs> you guys have more mirrors than the women, yeah? So use a handheld mirror at the back so you can see what you're doing at the back as well. So you're going in a curve, in a C, all right? Then you move it to a three and leave a little bit from the top off, all right? And then do it again. So you have long, shorter, shorter. It goes on like that. And go down to a number two, maybe, and you get really short over here, going into a longer, um, longer, um, you know, hair on, at the side. So it looks beautiful. I mean, it just, it's very graded. And then because you're using a zero machine, zero is when you want your scalp to be seen. So one till one is what you go to the least. And then comb out your hair, get your scissors, comb out your hair and where your parting is, no? All that top hair is going to be longer. Hold it with the shortest hair and just trim off, trim off the excess, yeah? And then take it up and just trim off the excess. And then you have a have fabulous haircut. So don't, don't forget the back. It's not that you are looking in the mirror, but nobody else is seeing the back of your head. And so use the hand in mirror, mirror and definitely use it. Your zero machine is gonna come in handy. This is the time to use it as a hair, I mean, to cut your hair as well. I think uh, if you don't have it after lockdown, go get one, yeah? Yes, I know. I feel like every man does have a like a trimmer at home. You know, we're talking about haircuts. I mean, I still feel like you know, getting a trim at home is pretty easy. But what about grown out fringes? Like you know, if somebody who's got a fringe haircut, and you know, how can one you know easily just cut a grown out fringe and you know bangs and all some tips for that? Okay, so your uh, your fringe, if it's a straight down fringe, it can be really irritating when it grows out and goes. Yeah straight into your eyes, you know? If it's a slightly longer sweep, then you can sweep it to the side and deal with it. But if you have, or if you don't have, if your daughter has it, or your sister has it, or your wife has it, somebody has it, you know, you've got a straight on fringe, then you need a straight cut. It's very, very difficult to give yourself a straight cut, yeah? So either you can hold, a, tie a thread around where you want your fringe to end, a black thread, tie it nice and tight, and with your scissor, look in the mirror and use that thread as a guideline and cut alongside it. All right, that is for a straight block uh, fringe. And then you can pick up all that hair, hold your scissor like this and chop into your fringe. So it gets a little uneven and it looks really nice. Um, to get longer fringes, your nose, your of course your eyebrow is one short. Nose is a beautiful side sweep. Your chin is much longer. Your shoulder is even longer. So use these as, as your guidelines to knock off hair. Your, you know, you can either, there are two ways of taking the front air, your front area to get a, a proper fringe. One is the, the middle point of your eyebrows go straight down, pick up that hair, and then you cut it, all right? Or you either cut it nose, chin, this, wherever you want it. Pick up that straight hair, straight up, and trim the top of it. So you're like, the, the fringe is really beautiful. You've got your fringe happening, yeah? But uh, if you want, there, there are people who don't like straight on fringes. They like it a little bit of a, you know, it, it goes like that, uh, yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. No, so, no, I understand like this, yeah. Yeah, you don't like it like that. You want it to go like that. So you uh, use your end of your eyebrows slightly between the end and the middle and go in a V, that's the section that you're going to take on your head, yeah? And comb it out, pull it all together and cut it straight down, like that, yeah? Cut it straight down, when you leave it, you will get it into a perfect, uh, beautiful. The same thing can happen here, you can hold it together and cut it, again, you get that slight bit of a, a you know, a, a, uh, a circle that happens. Oh, yeah, I guess it's like this. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how you do the front, your fringe. And if you want a nice side sweep, all this you can work with. Just don't be scissor happy. You know, I know I'm giving out all my little secrets to be a great hairdresser, but you don't be scissor happy. It's okay for a hairdresser. You know, there are a lot of ways you can texturize, you can notch, you can do all sorts of things that you see your hairdresser doing. But for you, I'm telling you the easiest and the simplest way to get 
proper and easier fringes and everything else. Now, uh, let's leaving the fringe aside, you just want your back straight cut and you don't know how to do it. Comb your hair fully back, take a middle parting, comb it fully back and tie, take it to your nape and tie a ponytail, yeah, at the back. And, and then you tie another, you go down, you comb out that ponytail, take it down, tie another. So you've got two bands happening on your ponytail. And then, however short you want your hair to be cut or long you want to keep your hair, slide your last one down and use a, use a scissor and trim it off. When you open it out, you'll have a great straight haircut at the back. <laughs> These are things that you That's can do. That's a really easy way for women to actually... It's very, very easy. And it's difficult to tell people, hold it and cut it and all that. So when you use a band, the band is holding the hair. You just need to take it. You can actually just bring it forward also and cut yes, it. Yes, actually, you can do all this, sorts of things. this band thing is quite easy, you know, because going back and everything, anyone can do that at no, home. Basic trimming at home. Yeah, but but uh, you know, for curly head girls, I mean, most of uh, please do all this on wet hair. It works out best. But yeah. with curly head girls, they uh, they have the biggest problem, you know, because it's, the hair tends to split even faster. It dries. It's frizzy and it splits really fast. So I'm going to quickly tell you how to, to take off all those split ends so you can uh, get a beautiful layered haircut. All right. So put your head upside down and comb out all your hair to here, right here. And take this band and tie it really. So your hair is wet and you have combed it till here. Tie a ponytail. Now all your hair is in a ponytail up in front. Tie another band. So you've got again two bands happening. Yeah. And shift this band down to just the tips where the tips are just and trim it underneath the band. So your band is nice and tight and that is your hair. Trim it over here and then open it out. Throw your hair back. You've got beautiful layers and all those split ends have gone. Yeah. Yes. Actually, so sure yes nobody, that's a good I'm tip. Sure now, you. now nobody will want to come to me for a haircut. <laughs> No, Everybody no. Is going to I, the hair talking about basic trims, y'all. I, I. Do oh no! Yeah, I mean, love to get a haircut after the lockdown. Everyone yeah, but, but like, you know, like, probably life is never going to be the same after this uh, coronavirus situation. So, um, I'm sure everybody uh, can actually cut their hair at home, and I'm very happy if you can do stuff at home. I keep uh, lecturing and preaching about. Look after yourselves at home. I'm constantly saying that to people. We've got a question about, you know, how can we make our eyebrows thicker? Something if we can do for, you know, eyebrow hair growth. You know, I was, I think, born with very light eyebrows. And I have fought that uh, for the longest time. The only thing I really, I put castor oil. I've done all sorts of things. I promise you nothing works. So, uh, yeah, so I did go and do microblading to darken my eyebrows out. Uh, it's tattooing on your eyebrows. Even that just faded, you know. So basically, get yourself a really good eyebrow brush or powdered eyebrow, you know, uh, um, um, a nice powdered eyebrow uh, powder and use a brush. For the powder, you need to use a slight brush and start coloring wherever you want to. With a pencil, you can draw out your eyebrows and use a smudger or a, or a you know, like a circular um, oh, wand yeah. or a brush and clean it all up and darken your eyebrows. And I promise you, you of course, you can try a lot of things. You can try uh, putting castor oil on your eyebrows and all that, but it's not really going to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I do understand, but well, some people do swear by some, you know, eyebrow hacks that this one worked for me. So there's no harm in trying. I mean, you can always of try. Of course, there's no harm in trying yeah. anything. I mean, it right actually also, I think, depends on person to person. Sometimes, you know, you just, you don't, don't get a good growth. I mean, someone's asking us about, you know, hair oils. Like, you know, uh, what are the oils one can mix? And, you know, what are the best oils, you know, for good hair growth? You know, different, different oils have different properties. Uh, you know, the sesame seed oil penetrates better than most oils. So you can add a dash of sesame seed oil. Coconut oil is, is just liquid gold, basically, you know. And almond oil, you can mix a little dash of castor oil. All this you can mix together and use it. Yeah, shake it nice and proper. Don't try to uh, 
heat all this up when you're doing a mixed oil because they have different properties. They, uh, they boil at different points. You don't need to. But if you're doing your own, making your own hair oils at home, then it's great. I'm just going to tell you a quick and easy way uh, to make a great hair oil at home. You know, uh, curry pata, yeah. Uh, first, you've got your coconut oil. Put some curry pata in it. I know you'll smell like a malu at the end of it all, but still, <laughs> come on, yeah. And grate out some, um, I mean, uh, scoop out all the aloe from your, um, uh, from your aloe leaf. Put that as well in your, um, you know, in your oil. And uh, I can't tell you to go and look for Brahmi and, and all these other leaves and stuff. It's not going to happen. But curry pata and this is, the, and also, um, yeah, you can't really. That, nobody else has any. I mean, I don't have anything else growing here. I have these two things. So put that in your oil and boil it till your aloe becomes like a crisp, yeah, and the leaves. And take it out, strain it out, and use it oil for hair growth. It is brilliant. You know, your hair, your roots needs the nourishment. So nourish it. I'm going to just ask the last few questions. Uh, we've got a lot of questions on dull skin. Like uh, you've already talked about, uh, you know, a pack for glowing skin. But, you know, a lot of us, you know, I think have this issue right now that we, we don't sleep much. We don't, uh, we watch a lot of TV. We're on the phone and, you know, we don't go out. So our skin, skin tends to become dull. Anything we can do for dull and, you know, tired looking skin. Okay, listen, first of all, how can you say you don't sleep so much? I mean, I'm just you talking have, about generally. You, know, you have it feels uh, like or the whole day to catch up on your sleep. I know. The other day I was talking to, you know, I do these uh, video call consultations now. From all over the world, people call in and I do these one-on-one -on -one consultations. It is so much fun because some of them, there's one kid who was like, I mean, when I say kid, she's already a mom, but to me, she's a kid. She's like, oh my God, ma'am, my full stress these days is, can I finish the net series before <laughs> I go to sleep? So yeah. people are hooked on to TV and their phone. Yeah, they're watching TV all the time. But please get seven to eight hours. Eight hours is a bit much, but seven to eight hours of sleep is an absolute. Now, not like, okay, I will sleep for five hours in the morning, then do my work and sleep for three hours in the afternoon. No, I'm talking about seven to eight hours, unadulterated deep sleep is what you need for that beautiful glow on your face. Lots and lots of water. Keep drinking water, you know. Cut a, a slice of lime and put it into a big jug of water. Keep sipping on it. Lime and uh, cucumber. Just put it into a big jug of water. That's what I have sitting in my fridge. And keep sipping on it through the day. The more intake of water and the, the rest that you need, and this is the time to do it. Everybody has the time to do it. Don't say you don't have time to sleep properly. Yeah? Sleep. No, but that's and, true. All of us yeah, yeah, are watching TV series. Everyone is hooked to, you know. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Netflix like, is it now. Everybody is hooked onto it. So am I. I'm not saying I'm not. But, but my sleep, nobody, I can't, I will not give up my sleep hours for anything. And uh, you, during the day, allow, uh, you know, give yourself two hours to work. Okay, not two hours, five hours to watch your Netflix or whatever you have to. Okay. Uh, just last two questions. Uh, you've actually worked with a lot of Indian top models back then. So what is the difference that you know, notice in the models now and, you know, then? <laughs> you know, um, I have been in the fashion industry for the last three decades. Uh, from the beginning of fashion in India, uh, if I may say so. Um, you know, and I've worked with the, the likes of Meher Jessia, Anna Bredmeier. I'm talking about since then, yeah, Rohit Khosla and I start from the very beginning, Ritu Kumars and everybody. And then I have moved on and I have seen models come and go because models are the ones with the shortest lifespan in modeling. Um, and the designers stay, the makeup artists and hairdressers stay if they're good. And uh, choreographers definitely stay, but the models keep coming and going because there's an age factor that's, um, you know. So uh, what I can say about, and the dedication is the same, you know. Uh, the kids of today are working out more. The kids of uh, yesteryears are partying more, I must say. I mean, nowadays, everybody's hitting the gym. But even those days, the kids used to keep hitting the gym and 
doing their workouts, eating well, sleeping well. But I know a whole bunch of kids who just partied like crazy. But that era was the era of the, uh, the supermodels. Now we don't have that era anymore. You know, in the new lot that has come out, we, yeah, we can say this one is great on the ramp and that one looks great. But supermodel, we can't really put down to, uh, I mean, I haven't uh, really come across a supermodel of this existing time. Uh, not, there is uh, the Noinika Chatterjee's and the Meher Jessia's and uh, Madhu Sapre's. We don't, uh, you know, we don't have them anymore. I don't know why that has happened, but uh, the supermodels have uh, faded. But, uh, but modeling, of course, as long as you keep yourself fit, fine, and you're tall and beautiful, and, and sometimes you don't even have to be beautiful, yeah? Then the, you leave the job to me to make you look great. And uh, as long as you're really nice and tall and fit and slim, you can be a clothes horse <laughs> or, uh, you know, and of course, very, very beautiful. Then you get into commercials and, and ads on uh, magazines and papers and all that. But um, uh, I wish we would get another supermodel. Yeah? Yes, <laughs> so I agree with that. Uh, you know, on that note, you know, uh... What are the tips you would give to, you know, young women who, you know, want to get into modeling or, you know, young women who want to get into uh, the beauty world of makeup and hairstyling? Because you have a lot of experience, you know, working with models, working with celebrities. What are the tips you would give, you know, to these young girls who want to get into the industry? You know, um, I just need to tell everybody out there that there are absolutely no shortcuts to success, you know. Um, you have to work really hard. If you think then, oh, I just want to become a makeup artist and a hairstylist and, and uh, you know, become a big celebrity, it's not going to happen overnight. And it's not going to happen if you give your, even your 75%, you have to give your 100%. It's a standing up job. It's manual labor. You just stand and work and work and work. And I have done that for 30 years. And, um, and I have to tell you, it's, uh, you know, uh, you, you win awards and you're called a celebrity and people look at you in awe and everything else is not because of the way you look, walk and talk. It's the work that talks for you. You know, your work should count. Your work has to be par excellence. And if it isn't, then um, probably this is not the line for you. Where a model, if you're a model, you need to definitely your weight, your size, your height, um, your skin, um, everything has to be, has to be fabulous because, um, you know, that's just the way it is. If you want to be a, a movie star, you really don't need to be that tall either. You just have to be stunning. You have to have a lot of talent, uh, you know, in acting wise and expressions and all that stuff that I keep seeing on big screens. Uh, but uh, talent is what's, um, is the key point for stars and uh, the dedication and you think it's easy to be a movie star it's crazy i mean i i have only done one movie in my entire career and i decided i would never ever want to do any more movies the madness of it all the the, the stars are stressed and, and i mean all those lines that they have to learn and then the expressions that go with it the hair and makeup and getting up at three in the morning to get everything done and and working through the day in the hot sun, it's not easy. We see them on the big screen and say, oh, wow, how beautiful and how easy is their lives and to be a celebrity. Oh, my God, it's, it's, a, it's really tough. But to all these careers that I have worked with for the last 30 years, I have to tell you, nothing comes easy. Yeah? You have to really, really work hard. And if you don't work hard, if you're one of those lazy people, for God's sake, this is not any one of these uh, modeling, being a star and being a hairdresser and makeup artist is not the line for you. You know, I don't think, um, I mean, you just need to know where your priorities are. You need to, as a working mother, I know that I, I need to give enough time. You're like, a, you're juggling everything and every, every aspect of your life needs time, you know, and dedication. If you're a if you're a great mom, you you can be a great mom and a great makeup artist or a hairstylist or a model. I know nowadays all most of the senior models that we have in the industry are all mothers, and they look so fabulous because they're so dedicated to their job, you know. So dedication and hard work and knowing how to time management when you are a, a, a working mother um, is very important. That's true. 
Uh, so actually, we're getting a lot of questions. I think you should really do live no. chat more often. <laughs> a lot of people like <laughs> but the same questions, Zachney and everything. So we like to end the chat now. But anything you would like to, you know, uh, talk about? You know, what are the things that people can do during quarantine? Any tips that you? What are, What are the things that you do? What are the things you can recommend to people? You know, to do during this time. You know, uh, the main thing to do is to stay home, to stay safe. and to stay alive yeah so uh, none of us have seen uh, anything like this in our entire lifetime and uh, and it's uh, it's difficult times yeah but those difficult times have given you an opportunity to to value life so much more you know i look out of my windows and i step out into my lawns in the front yard and i look up and i see the full sky that's cleared up there are birds all over the place it is a life as we known it is not it's not going to be the same once we step out this lockdown i mean um, could get extended it could uh, you know open out in in phases however it is i think we are going to be housebound much more than we even thought we would be and while we are in this space i think it's time please forgive and forget all the difficult times that you have with people call up your loved ones talk to them uh, now with all these new gadgets you can uh, video call and you can do all sorts of things and keep connecting remember that all of us are connected in some way or the other this virus has not uh, you know chosen the rich or the poor or the you know or the caste creed everything left aside it has crossed, crossed all boundaries and it has made every single human being on this earth housebound and because of it i think uh, our, the earth is going to heal um, you know mother earth is going to heal and i think we should be happy that that is happening i know many people are losing their lives they they have they're going through the virus uh, attack itself uh, people like me i'm asthmatic and so is my daughter paranoid about uh, you know any kind of infections coming our way so um, nobody has stepped into the house since the lockdown has happened i have stepped out uh, to go pick up veggies or whatever it is but i come back home and i i, I dip all my vegetables in uh, you know in uh, vinegar and uh, all that and and get it sanitized first and all packets are rubbed down with rubbing alcohol i know i'm getting paranoid and i have ocd as well so it's a little difficult but but the key word is to stay home stay safe listen also find what you can do to keep yourself motivated and uh, um you know uh, with a clear head uh, something to do from home you know i have finally decided that i have so much knowledge inside me in this career hair makeup beauty skin care hair care <clears throat> and i want to um i've started giving out personal one to one consultations and i find it is so much easier i don't think i'm going to stop once the lockdown is over because i find that connecting one on one with people from all over the world i am connecting with people and talking about how to look after themselves it's easy to do a live video such as this and keep saying okay put haldi in name and mm -hmm. this and that but when you talk to me one on one then you tell me this is my problem i have pigmentation what am i supposed to do you know and it's more con uh, it's a uh, it's a consultation but also it's like more like a, a healing process for them and for me and find that is my find i found this that i could do this yeah you should home. definitely do one on one consulting find what you can do at home and do it uh thank you so much ambika for this chat those of you know people who have missed this chat we'll be soon posting this on our instagram so you can have a look mm -hmm. at all the questions answered uh i hope you stay safe and healthy thank you so much you too love you it's such a pleasure talking to you thank you so much i shall see you all very very soon you take care stay home and stay safe